You looking for me? What's the matter, Jarhead? Lost? Nope. I'm exactly where I want to be. It's this little Josie Doe with Renee and Sarah. That's just so you could crash the reading of my grandfather's will. I'm not thinking about that right now, and you know it. What are you thinking about? Um, <clears throat> sorry, you wanted... A truce. I offered you one before, and it didn't go so well. Yeah, I remember. I kissed you. And then he fired me. Yeah, well, <clears throat> I don't understand why you need a truce. I mean, you do have Renee and Sarah fighting all your battles for you. Because I think it's disrespectful to keep fighting in front of Renee all the time. Oh, it's disrespectful to Renee. Yeah, she's been extremely kind to me, and I think she's gone through enough grief. So, I'd like to stop fighting with you. And what are the terms of this truce? I mean, does that mean that you stop campaigning to take over everything Buchanan? Okay, look, I, didn't, I, I do not want... I think we got off track because of the kiss. And I overstepped, and I apologize. Okay, I accept your apology, if you mean it. Of course I mean it. I didn't mean to upset you. And I sure as hell didn't want you fired. If you're trying to get your job... I'm not. Although, by all means, you should offer it to me. Excuse me? You wanted me to kiss you, Sparky. Be honest. You could have slammed that door on my face when you saw me in the hallway. But you didn't. Are you saying that I'm asking for it? If I kiss you, are you saying... You weren't asking for it? You can't kiss me if I stop you. Well, then stop me, Natalie. I'm on by the lamp. I want you to. Bowser wanted me to bring up another blanket for you. Ooh. Huh. Sorry. Chuck, hi. Sorry, come on in. Yeah, come on in. The more the merrier. I didn't mean to interrupt. No, nope, you didn't at all. And thank you for the extra blanket. You two want some cocoa or something? Nigel's down in the kitchen. No! Thank you. Actually, Mr. Banks was on his way to his room and just got lost. That's right down the hall, third door on your left. Thanks. Mm -hmm. See you tomorrow. You sure you don't want to finish that conversation? No, I'm all talked out. You're lost. Sleep tight. Yeah. You sure you don't want to change your mind about that cocoa? No, thank you. But there is something you can help me with, Chuck. You sure about this? Absolutely. And don't worry, Chuck, I won't let you get into any trouble. 